Hi, and welcome to the first ever episode of Rural Vermont Radio. I'm Ben Hewitt. And I'm Coco Mosley, and we're partners in grime at Rural Vermont. Ben's joke, not mine. Yeah, well, that's why it's funny, Coco. <laughs> so as many of you probably know, Rural Vermont's been around for a couple decades, 33 years to be exact. That's older than me, but not older than Ben. Um, our mission is to is to support Vermont farmers, and we believe that Vermont is strongest when all Vermonters have access to locally grown, nutrient-dense food. And we also believe that Vermont farmers have equal right to prosper. And we conceived a Rural Vermont Radio as hopefully a lively way to keep our members and constituents apprised of what's happening at Rural Vermont, and also what's happening in communities on individual farms across our state's working landscape. Um, the reality is that our work is often, particularly in the public policy arena, is often uh, fairly nuanced and can be kind of wonky. Um, so we thought that this might be uh, hopefully an effective and fun way to sort of translate some of that work. So as we carry forth with this program, you can expect updates on our advocacy work in the State House, on events we're sponsoring or just think are worth your attention, and also what's happening in the office. And you can also look forward to us uh, talking about issues relating to Vermont's working landscape. Plus, we have some really great stories to tell. So we'll be hosting guests and Rural Vermont members to share their stories and experiences. And we'll also invite other Rural Vermont staff on to talk about their work, specifically working in the State House. Um, we really hope to get out in the field and to capture the voices of people across the state working um, on the working land spectrum. So finally, we're also considering an advice episode. That's right. So if you've got questions, we've got answers. They may not be the right answers, but at least we're going to try. Um, so if you're struggling to understand how a particular piece of legislation affects you as a farmer or as a consumer or just a concerned Vermonter, we're here for you. If you're wondering what rural Vermont is doing about a specific issue or where we stand on a specific issue, we're here. If you've got problems in your barnyard, we're here from you. Questions on livestock or love, we're here. We're going to do our best. So just email us at rvr at rural Vermont Radio. What about questions on livestock love? Look, I'm, I'm ready for those, Coco. I'm ready for that. I've been studying those for many years now. I think Tis I've got the answers. season. And so that's about it for our inaugural episode of Rural Vermont Radio. I'd also like to point out that the music you just heard and are about to hear again is by the band Wool, featuring our very own board member and longtime Rural Vermont member, Kat Buxton. Thanks to Kat and her bandmates for their contribution to Rural Vermont Radio, and you can find them on Facebook at Wool Barn Music. And speaking of the mighty Facebook, please know that in addition to Rural Vermont Radio, you can keep tabs on our work on Instagram, Facebook, or our soon-to-be radically revamped website, ruralvermont.org. And what was that email address again, Ben? That email address, Coco, was rvr at ruralvermont.org. And there are real live people standing by on the other end of that address to answer your questions. You never know. You might get invited on as a guest. That would be something to consider before you contact us, so be <laughs> warned. So thanks, everyone. And stay tuned for episode two, which will feature the mighty Lindsay Harris of Mountain Home Farm in Tunbridge. Lindsay makes some damn fine grass-fed butter, and so I'll be packing biscuits and hoping she brings the goods. Thank you all for listening, and stay tuned for episode two.